Been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Been gone for a year, only know like once Life moves fast when you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in today's video. My name is Amore Faith. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is your girl's year of consistency on this channel. So I pray in Jesus' words, but I pray I'll be consistent to this channel. Amen. <laughs> Besides that point, I have to say a quick prayer today, but as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to bring you on on what a typical Sunday reset would be for me. I love, love, love Sunday resets. I want to be a Sunday reset, truly. <laughs> but um, of course, I'd like to first start out with my skincare. Um, again, shout out to the TikTok girlies because they be eating the girls up. They have put me onto this CeraVe and it has been keeping my skin clear except for that enemy of progress bump. But you know what? It is okay. And since I do have lash extensions, I am going to go ahead and use this to clean and rinse off my lashes. On to the next step of today's facial routine. I am going to use my Dickerson's Pore Perfection Toner just to get anything that's left behind. And then, baby, shout out to the TikTok girlies again. And shout out to Good Molecules. They did what they had to do with this. Straightening, straightening, straightening. Yeah, straightening. something that don't be given about cleaning the kitchen <laughs> like babes i don't know what it is but i literally hate cleaning the kitchen like i thoroughly enjoy cleaning the restroom more than the kitchen but it is under recess so you know we have to do what we have to do you know what is so funny if you grew up in an african household you knew that our dishwasher was literally solely there for decoration purposes but in jesus name my dishwasher will not be for decoration so it was really funny to kind of like get used to using it when i had first moved in so i just thought that was so funny but before i do put my dishes into the dishwasher i like to prep them which is like i like to kind of clean them softly if that makes sense just to make sure that there's no junk or rubbish left over on my dishes whenever the dishwasher is done Thing 
things change It's funny how someone else's success brings pain When you're no longer involved That person has it all And you just stuck standing there But I'm gonna need you to say something, baby Say something, baby Say something, baby Say something I'm gonna need you to say something, baby I'm gonna need you to say something, baby But now I'm at the 40-40 getting bitches tipsy Killing shit, the ever so talented Mr. Ripley How I go from being a man that you argue with To me and Dwayne Carter putting out the hardest shit I should wanna go back to the one I started with But I'm addicted to this life, it's gonna be hard to quit Yeah, just ask me how things are coming along You can tell me that you never heard none of my songs As long as you end up saying one day you plan to listen Cause what's a star when it's most important Now on to my favorite section ever. I love, when I say I love cleaning my restroom, I thoroughly enjoy cleaning every part of my restroom. So of course I'm gonna first start with cleaning my toilet. I'm going to use this Comet bleach powder and I like to use a lot of bleach. Like you know when you start mixing so many things together that there's fumes, baby, I feel like if there's not heavy fumes coming from whatever you're cleaning, you ain't doing it right. <laughs> And of course, I like to make sure I clean every nook and corner and crevice of my toilet. You need to make sure you're cleaning every corner and especially that little part at the bottom because baby, I'll be checking. I'll be checking. In my opinion, do not miss that spot. And another tip that I learned is whenever you are done, take some hot water and go ahead and pour it over this scrub situation just to make sure that it is disinfected, clean, and there's no junk or gunk that is left over on it. in the paddock in my piece, I'm pushing P. Cop no hammers for my pee, we don't want no pee. Got a spot and cross the spot, to the peas. Drop the batter, now we plant inside the peas. She not a lesbian for pee, she turned pisbian. Push a pee, I'm pushing P. I'm capital P, I write the president, count presidents. Put the peas on her knees, mopping down the pee. She let me squeeze and she leave, cause she keep the pee. Private sweet, privacy, bitch, I'm pushing pee. Purple paint, pussy paint, bitch, I'm pushing pee. Push your pee, I'm pushing pee. Push your pee, I'm pushing pee. Yeah. Yeah. Push your pee, I'm pushing pee. Push your pee, I'm pushing pee. Yeah. I would be a paranoid. I can't sleep if I just. Next to cleaning the bathroom, there's just something so therapeutic about laundry when it comes to my resets or just cleaning in general. There's just something so therapeutic about putting away and folding some freshly washed white sheets and towels. I like to wash my towels as often as I can. And I like to wash all of the sheets on my bed every week. That is a must. Every week you need to make sure you wash all your blankets and pillowcases and all that good stuff. I feel like this is a hygiene must and overall good for your skin health. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. 
now that all my sheets and my pillows and everything on my bed have been thoroughly washed and fresh and clean i am now ready to clean my room so of course i'm going to start off with first making my bed and i love making my bed a healthy habit that i try to keep with me is that every morning before i leave for work or start my day i try very hard to make my bed i feel like something about it just gets your life together and makes you more productive to tackle on all the shaka shaka of the day <laughs> Like damn, she need her move. 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 She lit, your money too. Like damn, she need her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't you packing out? on to the last section of my sunday reset so today i'm going to be making my quick and easy basic chicken and rice and vegetables this is so simple and quick to make and it keeps me full and healthy throughout the week so of course i'm going to start off with cutting my onions and one thing about it baby i love me some onions it's the nigerian in me and i like to use pork boiled rice and i hope 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 you wash your rice in between washes because if you're not washing your rice in between washes hmm side eye <laughs> so um i'm gonna go ahead and start cooking my chicken and don't worry i had already cleaned and prepared my chicken prior to this so nobody have anything to say and once i have my chicken ready in my pot i'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning i'm gonna start off with again onions like i said i love me some onions after that i'm gonna add my habanero peppers and not too much on your girl i feel like habanero is really a flavor enhancer I feel like once the spices and everything come together, all it does is it really just enhances the flavor. <laughs> so after I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and add my Maggi. That's a if you know, then you know. And once that is all done, I'm going to also go in with my basil. This is just to give my chicken more flavor. Now my rice is all nice and cooked. I'm going to go ahead and just take it out the pot and transfer it to storage. So once I'm done with everything, I have it ready to go. In addition to the chicken drumsticks that I had made that I had showed y'all earlier, I had also made a pan of chicken breast. And when I say these look, and I must say smell absolutely amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and pop it in to the oven with my drumsticks. I like to cook and also bake my chicken. I feel like this just adds more flavor and more goldenness and more crispiness to it. So of course, I'm going to go in um, with my broccoli. These are going to be my vegetables for my meal prep. And I like to prepare this, what I like to call the Nigerian way. And I know what y'all are thinking. Everything's Nigerian. Everything's Nigerian. Yes. I am proud to be Nigerian. And I'm going to literally put that in everybody's face every day. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add my ingredients from my onions to my maggi to my habanero peppers again. And I'm going to lightly um, season this with some, well, not lightly. I'm going to season this with some slap your mama and some basil and other seasoning also. This is my broccoli all steamed and done, but I'm going to go in with a little bit more seasoning for some more flavor. And this is my chicken breast out the oven. Look how beautiful everything is looking. Everything is looking and smelling abso <laughs> absolutely scrumptious. So I'm going to go ahead and start my meal prep plates. Um, this is about six. So for about six days of this week, I'm going to not have to worry about meals because that's already done and out the way. I am just extremely happy with everything right now because my meal prep's already done. So I don't have to worry about that. My house is sparkling clean. So I don't have to worry about that. And I just feel like this makes it easier to tackle on the week that I have coming forward. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Also, let me know what you would like to see more from me. I hope this video motivated you to get up and clean your space today. I hope this video motivated you to arrange your space today. And I also wish you a blessed and amazing week, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.